Hey guys, Matt from East over here at my home garage and today I'm working on another little paint project for my 34 Ford. So I have the interior garnish molding for the car all taken off and I've worked really hard to get like the five layers of paint that was on this thing and get them back to bare metal. After redoing the dash in the car and cleaning the interior up and polishing the paint, the old uh, chipped up paint on the garnish molding was very, very unsightly and I decided I was gonna go and uh, repaint it. So now that I have it down to bare metal, I'm gonna be using the 2K uh, Aerospray Epoxy Primer to get in and seal everything up. And then I'm gonna use my little Eastwood Pro uh, detail gun to spray this. I used the larger gun when painting the dash because it was a wider area that we needed to spray. Uh, but with something like these garnish moldings, we're gonna be wasting a lot of paint by using a full-size gun. So the little jam or detail gun is much better for jobs like this because we can get in, use a small tip, and uh, get coverage but not waste a ton of paint. So I'm gonna work on getting these cleaned up and get them ready for our first coat of epoxy primer, and then we'll be moving on to paint. All right, so while we have our primer drying, uh, we can go ahead and get our paint gun out here. So it's the Concourse Pro Detail Gun or Jam Gun. And uh, this gun is brand new, right out of the box. Uh, I had the larger gun, but haven't had a need for the small one yet. So the first thing we wanna do is take this gun apart, actually, and just clean out all the orifices and areas because there may be some very minute traces of machining oil or, or things like that from production that we want to go through and make sure is uh, is all cleaned out and we're starting with a fresh clean paint gun that's not going to give us any problems or any contaminants well I'm just spraying a single stage today uh, we still want to be safe and make sure everything is nice and clean and we don't have any issues so I'll get this all apart get all our pieces out here and we should be good to go. All right, now that I got the detail paint gun all cleaned out, I'm gonna let it sit there on the rolling car for just a few minutes and let any residual pre uh, that we use just flash off so everything's nice and dry and ready to go. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do is the epoxy primer is all dried. It's pretty warm out today. It's probably in the 80s. And I uh, let it sit out in the direct sunlight and it basically you know, cured or baked that epoxy primer so that it is nice and dry and we're ready to start working with it. So what I have is a piece of 600 grit paper here. I'm just gonna lightly go over it, take any uh, little bit of texture that's on it. If there's any little nibs or anything on that, we can also take it out with this. Again, I'm just this is just window garnish molding so we don't have to go real nuts with getting it exactly perfect for the car that's going on. But we wanna make sure there's no bugs or real obvious uh, issues while we're going over it. 600 grit's gonna smooth everything out but still leave enough of a texture that we can lay some paint over top. So I'm gonna go around with this and uh, just get everything all ready and then we're ready to start mixing up some paint.
All right, so we're ready to mix up the paint here. I got my little GoPro on for a uh, couple in-person views as we're spraying and also mixing. But the uh, little Pro Detail Gun here only holds about four ounces of paint. So we don't need to mix a ton of paint at a time. Uh, I'll probably, with being so hot out, I don't think I want to mix a, you know, three cap or uh, three bottles full here for it. So I'm going to uh, mix up a little bit here. This is three to one, so we're going to spin this around so we got our three to one section which is right here we're going to probably just go to the to the two for now so we'll go two and then up to the two to fill it with activator where's that put us at just under Just a couple of these little bottles here we're going to use up. It looks like we're actually just over the two, so we'll go about the same on the activator. So we can go. to there, and then I think we're going to put a little splash more in because we were just a little over the two on the uh, on the paint. Then we'll mix this up and then we'll dump it in the gun. There. Alright, that should give us enough to get probably at least a coat on. All right, so after about 48 hours, I let the uh, the paint all harden up and sit in my shop, so everything was cured. And when I was putting the garnish molding back on, uh, I didn't have soft paint that we uh, put an indentation in or chipped it really easily. Uh, this garnish molding is kind of difficult to put in. You have to like clip it in different areas and put the uh, interior pieces behind it and over it. And uh, it is a little bit of wrestling. And if I would have thrown it in uh, the next day, we could have had that issue. Or when I was tightening all these little screws down, we may would have had issues with the paint um, cracking or deforming. So it went in really, really well. It looks awesome. I had already painted the dash uh, in another video using the Concourse Pro full-size gun. Uh, and it worked out awesome with uh, the GM Polar White, so this, this garnish, garnish molding obviously matches perfectly. Um, but it was nice to use the little Concourse Pro detail gun because it has a small 1.0 tip, so I was able to just dust in these areas, not waste a lot of paint with overspray on it. Um, but like I said, I was able to dust it in and just use the trigger kind of like I was using an airbrush to get into some of these tight little areas that may have been difficult to get into or I may have ran the paint with the full-size gun. This, uh, this detail gun really helped me out. In the end, what I, what I found was really good to get a nice smooth finish was I laid like a tack coat on in the beginning. Uh, we got nice coverage on, but I didn't go super heavy. And then the second time around, I turned the fan pattern actually up a little bit and I turned the fluid control out so that I got a little more fluid coming out. And uh, that got me a nice wet coat that left us with a really good finish uh, that is perfect for this car, it's not overly shiny, but it looks really good and it's not chipped and old and just 
worn out and tired looking so it worked out really really good if you want to learn about the paint that i used in this or the concourse detail pro gun you can click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right thanks guys catch you later